Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. All right, we're gonna do our South African top 10. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I gotta read this. We have the nature. Oh, man. Every city is just like something really special. I don't even like know how to describe it because it's like every single place had a different vibe, a different type of nature, a different sense of beauty. When we went to Cape Town, Cape Town is like, you just like started watching like some fairy tale movie. It's, it's like the opening credits and there's like big old mountains and like clouds rolling over it like it's cotton candy. The sun is just like out there chilling with the people. Over here there's sunsets, but over there there's sunsets. I've never seen people just like gather with a bunch of their family and friends going to the beach and just watch the sunset. I mean, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And it doesn't matter where you are in the country either. Yeah. Like I remember seeing like beautiful sunsets in Joburg, yeah. Victoria, and then like Durban. Durban was just this like beautiful tropical place with like amazing beaches. I remember the first time we drove around the corner down through like Camps Bay and stuff. It was just like, whoa, what is this? It's so wild. Everyone there just like, Oh, whatever, dude. It's just <laughs> this is just normal life. <laughs> it's just a mountain, bro. It's like, get what? over it. I'm like, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. That was the most terrifying thing of my life. How are you feeling about jumping off this? I don't know yet. It's like up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we jumped off the Soweto Towers. They were tall. Oh, was it 100 feet? Way more than that. 380 feet. Yeah, yeah. And we, we, as soon as we got up there, we were like, we should probably go back down. You going up the elevator did not make it any less. Because <laughs> we're going up the elevator, I yeah. thought you were going to have like a panic attack. Oh, my heart hurts. <laughs> just looking down. Don't look down if you're going to do this. Just go and do it. I'm scared of heights, but what the guy was saying is, you're not really scared of heights. You're scared of falling. Whatever. It's the same thing as me. <laughs> What's the difference the higher it is? I got to the edge, I'm like, I can't do this. I started crying, and they're just like, Yo, you, you should just go down. Is this coming to the edge? I'm just like, do not push me, guys. I was worried for you because like yeah. you're scared of heights and stuff like yeah. that. And I normally like stuff like that, but that yeah. was hands down the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. It's funny because our reactions to it were completely opposite. You were screaming the whole time, and I just like was ready to go in peace. It's like you died. <laughs> <laughs> I just went full ragdoll. But like 30 seconds after it did it, like it, I had, it was like pure joy because like you just you're so scared, and then it's over. It's just pure happiness. I was laughing mm -hmm. and crying. It's really weird and strange, but yeah, try it out if you ever get the chance. Zipline. So we went zipline. That was just pure fun. It was fun. It was just chill. And the fan of ours took us out. Oh, we Danny John. Yeah. We had a little squad going. We were in this like beautiful mountain range. It reminded me of like Lord of the Rings. Fun facts. The author of yeah. the Lord of the Rings is from South Africa. That's true. He is. He's from Bloemfontein. It's pretty crazy. Pretty wild. And actually they say a lot of his inspiration comes from the landscape of South Africa. Of like what it looks so like. And then the na in the names of the places and like everything. Yeah. And the whole time we're, we're zip lining, like this like reminds us of Legolas just like <laughs> started, started zipping around. <laughs> Man, like, zip lining was super fun. I mean zip lining is zip lining, there's not much more to explain to it, but it was really cool to just like zip around this mountain range and like in between the mountains from one mountain to another mountain. Yes. Shark cage diving. So we drove, what, like an hour or two out of Cape Town to this fishing town and they took us out on boats. Yes. Put us in a cage and boats. dropped us down with sharks. So another big fear of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely drowning. And I can't swim, so. Weren't you telling me you have dreams of like drowning? And yeah, all the, all the time, all the time. That's messed up. As soon as we got in there, there was a, there was a shark already there. And we were, I was just learning how to get my goggles on and all that. And the instructor goes, die, die, the shark's here. And then I went under, the water's going in my face. And then I opened my eyes and there's a shark's face right there. And it wasn't just any shark either. It was a great white yeah. shark. And I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get, they didn't even yeah. tell us how to like hide in the cage and stuff <laughs> at all. They just threw us in and then there was a shark. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty hectic, but it was cool. But I got out after 10 minutes, so that was worth it. Everybody else stayed in for like the next three hours. <laughs> we saw a lot of sharks. We saw sharks for like the whole three hours. Yeah. And there's a certain feeling of having a great white shark swimming right next to you. It's a weird feeling. Yeah. 
What a cool one. Yeah. All right, next on the list, we got brides. We went to like traditional brides and like family gathering brides, and we went to some like friends getting together, having a bride. Food is real nice. How do you always say that they do the bride versus like us doing a barbecue? Oh, so it's like a religious experience. Like, mm -hmm. it's like everybody shows up, a full squad, like they're cooking like their best meals. Mm -hmm. Like there's music, drinks. It's an experience I've never experienced before. I mean, I had barbecues and stuff, mm -hmm. but like they just, they just take it to a different level. It's like a ceremony. It's not like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna fry some food tonight for dinner. It's like, we're having a bry. Yeah. <laughs> the names, like what I- what Brio I was, works, I yeah. can't say it. Brio works. The names of the food is so, it's so <clears throat> cool and funny to us at the same time. <laughs> what was the drink we had? A Springboki? Springboki. I wanted this named after and the Springbok. Like, Bry Oh, those are so good. Real cheese, oh. tomatoes, onions. onions. Tomato and jam. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and everybody does it different. Everybody has like their own way of doing it. And then I kept calling them breadsticks, but I forget what it was called. It was like bread on a stick. And you like filled it with cheese and like. like if you're South African, sausage. Just tell us all the, the names to your bride food. List them down. Because. I want to eat them all again. Yeah, we want to try it again. <laughs> yeah. Biltong. Biltong was one of the greatest things I've ever discovered in my life. And if you hear the word bill tongue, you might just think bull tongue yeah. right away. Yeah, I That's, thought it was bull tongue. I thought it was like the tongue of a bull. It's like, oh, I'm eating tongues today. Let's go. <laughs> but it's not. It's so, it's, yeah, it's like beef jerky. It's just like dried curd beef with all these spices and stuff. It's raw. I would, I would call it like the filet mignon raw steak of beef jerky. What did you just say? Filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he said. <laughs> And they, it comes in so many different styles. There, there's pork built tongue, there's chicken built tongue, there's fish built tongue. Apparently, there's mushroom built tongue, which I never <laughs> tried. I never tried that. When did you try it? I didn't try the mushroom built tongue, but like. I never tried any of those. I tried the chicken the one. Chicken? Yeah. Damn. It was okay. The beef wins. I'm upset. <laughs> beef built tongue wins. Anyways, if anybody wants to send us built tongue, please do because I can't find it where we live. We need built tongue. We need built tongue. Please. So one of my favorite things we did in South Africa was when we were in Bloemfontein and we had this awesome fan, his name is Jalen. Shout out Jalen. He took us to a racetrack that his family owns and he let us drive the race cars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's legal. Was that legal? It's legal in South Africa. Oh, apparently. hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. Yeah. But yeah, we went and drove race cars and- I can't believe we actually did that though. They went fast and like, not just like hop in a race car and go, like a full like, Racetrack suit yeah. on a racetrack. Yeah, I drove like I like, slow. I drove the speed limit. I've got to say, they go way faster than my car. Yeah, <laughs> they go, they go, they go. When you start drifting and stuff. It's pretty wild. It's scary. It feels like you're gonna roll yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. Every time I play a racing game, like mm -hmm. like Forza or like in the virtual games, you always hit the corners. I always hit the corners. Yeah. And like I smash <laughs> it. I'm like. Whatever, it's a game, but I'm in the car, I'm like, this is not a game. Do not mess this guy's car up. <laughs> so eventually they leveled me up and let me go in the 700 horsepower car. And that thing went fast. And then they told me I was a natural when I should come live in Bloemfontein and become a race car driver. Yeah, so if you think he should be a race car driver, put in the comments. I think that's my retirement plan. Go to South Africa and become, you know, the next Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the greatest racer of all time. Yeah. We have. The people, the people of South Africa. They're just so welcoming, man. It was crazy just coming off the plane and having someone know who we are. Yeah, it was wild. We were there for like two days and I wanted to go surfing. So we just like asked one person and they're like, yeah, here's a surfboard, here's a wetsuit, I'm gonna take you surfing. Like, and I just watched from the beach. <laughs> Can't swim. <laughs> the people that invited us over for brides. Yes, went us into their family's house. Mm -hmm. They eat with their entire family. Mm -hmm. Cousins, like all that is wild. Someone gave yeah. us their apartment for our first month while we were there. They knew the struggle, we're an independent band. I mean, someone inviting you into their home is like the biggest compliment. Someone biggest. Yeah. And then, like, our crew was amazing. Like, half of our crew on the road were people from South Africa and they became like some of our best friends. A lot of people just have like great hearts out there. All right, next on the top 10, we got wildlife. We went to a place in Kruger Park called. King's Camp. Shout out Kate and Laura for inviting us down. That was one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. Being in, indulged into nature like that, like with like real live wild animals was like a crazy feeling. 
it's, it was real cool. It was like very strange seeing how peaceful all the animals were. It wasn't like this, I thought it was just like chaos. Just <laughs> when the animal sees another animal, they just fight and rip their heads off. We need to watch like Animal Planet. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, uh, I was just like, okay, it's gonna be like this. We woke up so early though, I fell asleep so many times. Like we just finished tour. I couldn't like deal with waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so I had to nap for like the first bit. Nothing wrong with a nice safari nap. Nice safari nap, yes. But we saw like pretty much all the big five. Lions, leopards, rhinos. Elephants and what's the other one? Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo is the dangerous one of them all. Show that video. Yeah, the buffalo's balls. And then we also saw a bunch of other stuff like zebras. Zebras was actually like the first thing we saw. We saw giraffes. We saw baboons. We also saw monkeys. Yeah. We saw penguins. Penguins. No, there's just one. But like, okay, there's stuff you see on Animal Planet or whatever on Discovery Channel, and you're like, okay, these are animals. But it's, in South Africa, there's animals I've never seen it before in my life. And it's just really cool because it's like a whole bunch of animals in a whole animal kingdom that exists not in North America where we're from. All right, next on the top 10, here we go. We got the shows. The shows. The fans. The fans. It's such a good moment. He's going, going to a place I've never played before and having a lot of people seeing all your lyrics. That, that is the most powerful thing ever. And not even just like the hits of every single yeah. song. Yes. We're an independent band, so like, it's different. Our lives are different. Like, we, we've been growing since we started slowly, slowly, and this is the first time. It's just been like in the past, like, like it was like I don't know, a few months of us being at home. Yeah, it just I mean, it grew so quickly. There, there's one point in one of the shows where like we couldn't even hear ourselves. Yeah, because like, the fans took over the show at that I point. No idea if I'm singing in key. My eardrums are just like, but like they're like, I can't imagine what's going to be like when we go back. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite show? All of them, really. Actually, I remember that we said that like going through the tour, we were like, each show get, feels like it's getting better and better, but they're just like all good. That was one of the best tours of our lives, and I can't wait to go back. All right. Well, that wraps up everything. If uh, you guys think uh, we should do more of these, Drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments down below. Smash that little like button right yeah, there. It subscribe. It, 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 That's what you do when you're a YouTuber, right? You yeah. like, subscribe, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're trying different things now. But Neon Dreams is a production now. It's not really just music. It's like a TV series. Yeah, we're yeah. YouTubers now. Yeah, we're YouTubers now. We're a band. We're a band. We're, we're friends. Yeah, friends. Uh, TikTokers, probably soon. Um, sometimes I drive a van to shows, so yeah. um, driving services right here. Yeah, we edit our own videos now. Yeah. We produce our own music. Yeah, it's a full production team. That's what happens when you're independent, baby. Frank and Adrian, baby. It's a Frank and Adrian show. <laughs> Peace. Peace.